In this video, we will be discussing SmartBear Software's latest version of Peer Review Complete and its integration with IBM's Rational Team Concert. Peer Review Complete offers teams the same great source code review capabilities found in Code Collaborator, plus allows teams to review requirements documents, project specifications, design documents, verification plans, and more. Without Peer Review Complete, teams find themselves performing reviews by looking over each other's shoulders, sitting in meetings, and emailing files around. This can make performing reviews tedious and time-consuming, and makes collecting comments and metrics difficult. Peer Review Complete offers a centralized, fun, and easy way for teams to perform reviews, which helps ensure a higher quality product with faster time to market. Let's get started with a review by taking a look at the Rational Team Concert client. We have an open work item number 79, and the work item is assigned to Jazz Admin. Jazz is currently working on the item and has a file that he has modified and needs to check in. Once Jazz checks the file in and sets the work item to resolve, a new review is created in Peer Review Complete, and the review is linked to the work item. Clicking on the review opens the review perspective. Jazz needs to assign one or more participants to the review, and can do so by dragging and dropping them into the participant box. There is no limit to the number of participants that he could assign. Scrolling down, we can see the materials that are part of the review. Additionally, Jazz needs to select an option from the Moving On section. Once Jazz clicks on Begin Review, the review creation process is finalized, and the review participants are notified that a review has been assigned to them. Since participants don't have to be logged in at the same time, Jazz is free to move on to another task. Let's open a browser and log into Peer Review Complete as Justin the Reviewer. Justin can see all of the reviews that are assigned to him, including the newly created review. Clicking on the review opens the review summary page. Justin can see all of the same review information that Jazz defined within the RTC client. Scrolling down, Justin can see the review materials that have been attached to the review. Since Peer Review Complete allows teams to review multiple types of documents, I attached a requirements document to the review as well. Let's start by taking a look at the document and suggesting a few changes on page 3. Placing a push pin on the document allows us to flag an item and add a comment. You can also flag issues within the document as well. Issues within Peer Review Complete also contain custom fields that can be filled in as part of the process. These flagged issues are items that the author should address before the review could be closed. Let's make a couple of more changes. Once the document is reviewed, click on File to move to the next file in the review. Source code is reviewed in much the same way as a document, the difference being that comments and issues are flagged by line instead of using a pushpin. Let's add a few comments and an issue to this source. Again, issues are items that must be addressed before a review can be closed. Once the reviewer has completed reviewing all files, he needs to click on the review number and return to the review summary screen. The last action a reviewer needs to perform is to click Approve in the Next Step section. This puts the review into the rework phase and assigns it back to the author. Let's return to RTC in the author's perspective. Notice that RTC has been updated with all of the comments and issues that were flagged by the reviewer. Clicking on the comments opens the diff viewer within RTC. This allows the developer to stay in RTC to perform the review. Jazz can see all of the unread comments in yellow and can either respond to Justin's comments or mark them as read. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the author's RTC view and the reviewer's web UI view. We'll have Justin respond to Jazz's comment. Notice that Jazz's RTC client automatically updates with the latest comment. This allows participants to review files simultaneously. If, however, participants are not reviewing files at the same time, then the comments are threaded out and marked in yellow so that the participants can pick up right where they left off the next time they are logged in. Let's return to the author's RTC instance. Let's assume that Jazz has read all of the comments for all of the files and now needs to address all of the issues that were flagged by Justin. Jazz will need to return to the Java perspective and reopen the work item. Now, let's assume that Jazz has modified the Word document and is ready to attach it to the review. If that doc is part of version control and is associated to the work item, it will be uploaded as part of the work item state change. Otherwise, Jazz can upload the changes directly to the review through the web UI. We'll open Firefox and log in as Jazz. Jazz can drag the modified Word document directly over the review summary screen to attach the changes to the review. 
Returning to RTC, Jazz can open the primeutils.java file and make the necessary changes. Once the changes have been made, Jazz can save and check in the file. Setting the work item back to Resolve triggers the modified files to be uploaded to the review. Returning to the review summary perspective, Jazz will click Issues Fixed Proceed to Verification to notify the participants that they need to return to the review. Returning to just in the reviewer's browser, we can see that the review has re-entered into the inspection state. Scrolling down to the Review Materials section shows us the files that have been reworked. Opening the Requirements document and navigating to page 3, where the comments and issues are located, reveals that the changes have been made to the document. Notice that the push pins have been moved to the appropriate location on the newly uploaded file. Also notice that the changes are appropriately highlighted as part of the diff. The really great part about Peer Review Complete is that it allows multiple participants to simultaneously work on a single review and file. It captures all of their comments and threads them out so that it is easy to understand why changes have been made. Because the issues on the requirements documents have been addressed, it is the reviewer's responsibility to mark them as being fixed. Moving on to the Java file, we can see all of the changes highlighted in the diff viewer. Again, we can easily skip down to the comments and issues by clicking on the chat item. Also notice that the line numbers have been updated appropriately as well. Just like the Word document, it is the reviewer's responsibility to mark the issues as being fixed. Though Justin and the reviewer only sent the files back to Jazz one time for fixes, they can be sent back as many times as is necessary to ensure that all of the potential problems have been addressed. Once all the files have been reviewed, and all issues have been fixed, Justin the reviewer needs to return to the Review Summary screen, and approve the review in the Next Step section. Once approved, the review enters into the completed phase, and the only thing left to do is have the author check in their changes. Peer Review Complete offers a ton of great features that weren't mentioned during the demonstration. They include support for 16 different SCMs, customizable workflows, group security, electronic signatures, audit trails, LDAP integration, and more. Hopefully this demonstration has provided you with a solid understanding of the fantastic review capabilities offered in Peer Review Complete. Please take some time and download a free 30-day trial and test Peer Review Complete in your environment with your team. If you have any questions, please visit us at www.smartbear.com. Thanks for watching.